648. Welcome back to the Valley today. Well, this is a live look for you. I-94, you can see snowplow crews are busy trying to get, uh, get the roads clear this morning. Several plow crews, of course, have been getting ready for this storm for the last few days. The hope is that they can get everything cleared, at least in the city of Fargo, about 24 hours after the last flake falls. Crews are also asking for your help. Need to give them room this morning as they try to do their job. Switching over to our tower cam here now. You can see the commute is on, and people seem to be taking it pretty easy this morning. Certainly a very good idea. Let's give away a free cup of coffee and breakfast burrito at Taco John's. And congratulations this morning to Jennifer Kuchar of, hey, Duluth, Minnesota. I don't know how you're watching us in Duluth, Jennifer, <laughs> but we certainly appreciate it, and hopefully you've got a... Taco John's up there to enjoy your free breakfast burrito and coffee. Wow, a Duluth winner. You don't see that every day. If you want to be our next winner, all you have to do is head to our website, valleynewslive.com, and click on the contest tab to sign up. Let's see how people are answering our question in the morning on Facebook this morning. If you do this, you'll spend 23% less on shopping. Well, here are some of your guesses this morning. Kimberly said, if you don't shop hungry... Lori said, if you pay with cash. Thomas guessed, if you go alone. And Rodney said, if you use coupons. Remember, you can take part in our question of the morning every weekday morning on the Valley Today. Just head to our Valley News Live Facebook page. Of course, we'll have the real answer for you here in about 10 minutes. Well, we are live, as you can see, out on the highways, not just in Fargo-Moorhead, but also out in the rural areas, too. We've got the latest road reports coming up next. And a big sigh of relief. After a frantic six-hour search, two West Fargo brothers go missing just as the snow starts to hit. You're watching the Valley Today on KBL One. Up to the minute. The minute you're up. Today's news is brought to you by Home of Economy. Knows Rick are super lights are the best. Nothing compares to the power and the versatility of Rickard's brilliant vacuum. Mine only weighs eight pounds. Oh yeah, well, mine has over 17 feet of cleaning hose. Dad, Dad Tosh's vacuum is better. Okay, kids, there's only one way to settle this. Let's let the customer decide. Low Sewn Vac is offering great deals on all Rickard vacuums to help us settle this. Low Sewn Vac. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Schwabel, Getz & Sieben today. After the accident, I knew my medical bills were mounting. I needed surgery, and I didn't know how I was going to pay for it. So I called Schwabel, Getz & Sieben. I didn't have to worry about the process or what was going on. I was truly convinced that I was in good hands. I know Schwabel, Getz & Sieben was looking out for my best interest. I would highly recommend Schwabel, Getz & Sieben to anybody who is involved in a personal injury accident. Hi, I'm Comfy. And I'm the middleman. And we're having a huge mattress sale on Queen Sets for just $4.99. What's the regular price? $4.99. So what you're saying is... It's not really a sale. What's your cost? About half. That sounds like a really good deal for you. I know, right? <laughs> Comfort King has factory direct pricing every day on Queen Sets starting at $3.48. I could get you twice that. Again, good morning, everyone. Seven minutes before seven. We promised you snow, and snow is what you're getting this morning. We're taking a live look right now at downtown Fargo, 10th Street North in downtown Fargo, in fact. And you can see everything is white. We've got a couple of inches of snow, and uh, plows are working and have been throughout the night to try to clear the roads as soon as possible. Of course, a very good Wednesday morning, everyone, and thanks for waking up with the Valley today. Kyle Bosch here with Lisa Badeau. So how much snow did we get overnight and how much more is on the way? 
later today. We want to start right away with meteorologist Lisa Green, who's been tracking this storm for several hours now. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we um, got about three to six inches of snow so far overnight. At least that's the reports that we're getting in right now with more on the way for today. Looking outside in Fargo, you can see traffic moving along. There's some plows uh, putting down chemical on I-94 as we look off to the west there. Uh, things are looking okay right now in Fargo-Moorhead. No snow coming down at the moment. A little bit of haze out there, but we're in a big break between that snow uh, right now in the south. That includes Fargo stretching over to much of Lakes Country and parts of southeastern North Dakota with the main area of snow arcing basically from the Duluth area up through Bemidji into the northern valley and then west from there and we've got this dry uh, punch of air moving in and that's helping to keep, give us a little bit of a break so not much to show you here in the FM metro or Cassar Clay counties of course roads still slippery a lot of snow covered roads out there with the metro ranging from three to four inches of snow overnight and the northern valley starting to get a little bit of a break we're right on the edge of things in Grand Forks there New Folden up toward Hallock and then the uh, Cavalier area and back over toward Michigan seeing some snow still going and this band that's been in northeastern North Dakota has been slowly shifting eastward, but it's been putting down some hefty snow amounts there. So we want to hear from you if you did get some decent snow overnight. Just go out and get a measurement and let us know on our Facebook page. That'd be really helpful. There's more snow out to the west, though. It's all rotating around an area of low pressure down in Minnesota. That's moving off to the north and east. So this area of snow to the west will slowly make its way eastward today, and we'll see more chances for snow in the southern valley. But by and large, the heavier snow totals or amounts in addition to what we've seen will be in the north and perhaps a little bit off to the east. Those scattered snow showers move in into the afternoon hours. That's also when we see that wind pick up gusting into the 20s to 30 miles per hour. So some lower visibilities and some blowing and drifting perhaps happening, especially in those rural areas throughout the rest of the day today. And the snow showers continue even into late tonight. So we're going to continue to be influenced by this system even into the early part of the day tomorrow. Additional snowfall, not much at all down in the uh, Far south, we may get another inch of Fargo Moorhead later on today after this long break. And then the north, several more inches possible with the snow ongoing there today. Let's check in with Al for an update on traffic. Getting around this morning shouldn't be too much of a problem so long as you take it easy. I'm on uh, westbound Interstate 94. I've been uh, travel speeds are kind of all over the map here. I was following an SUV that was doing about oh, 40 to 45 miles an hour. Uh, and then on the other hand, you see traffic is doing 60 to 65. Bottom line is this. Crews are out working on the uh, Metro Interstate Loop. They have got it wet. It's slushy in places. The ramps are very slippery in places because of the slush and the ice. You just plain need to take it easy. Same story in town. The streets and avenues, they're plowing the main arteries, but they're very, very slippery. Extra caution at the intersection. Drive carefully today and always. Al Ahmed, Valley Today Traffic. Four minutes before seven, the roads are tricky this morning, despite many crews starting to pre-treat the roads yesterday. Yeah, our team coverage continues. We want to get a look at the uh, roads in rural areas this morning. We go to Valley News Team's Ashley Bishop. Ashley? Good morning, Lisa and Kyle. We're here on the road on Interstate 94, heading eastbound back towards Fargo from the Castleton area, where you can see roads, one lane primarily clean, and the other lane a little bit snow compacted and icy. Uh, the NDDOT is out and plowing. They say they're, it's going to take them a few hours to get everything completed, but they're out and trying to get that done. On the other side of the river in the Minnesota area, I've just talked with uh, the Minnesota DOT, and they say they're getting about wrapping up their first pass through on all the roads, but their work, their salt treatment is working. And we're also hearing, I heard from the state trooper, Sergeant Jesse Grabo out that way, who said that if you're on Interstate 94 heading towards the downer exit, that there was a uh, accident there earlier just a little bit ago, and they had the lane uh, left lane uh, blocked, and you were having to go around. But as you can see, roads, if you're coming into the metro or going out, you're just going to want to take it slow. We're going about 60, between 55 and 60 miles an hour. But a pretty familiar picture to drivers uh, this time of year. You right. got that right, right driving lane looks pretty good. But if you're going to be passing people, which maybe isn't a great idea, you could run into some uh, trouble there. You can see some icy spots. Ashley reporting live for us this morning. Thanks, Ashley. Well, we do want to give you a quick look at some of the travel maps around the region for you this morning and let you know as we take a look at the North Dakota map, a travel alert has been issued by the North Dakota DOT for central and northeast North Dakota. That includes the cities of Jamestown, Valley City, Devil's Lake, 
and Grand Forks. Now it means that you're going to run into some snow on the road and might have some visibility issues as well. You can see lots of snow covered roads for you. You're also dealing with snow on the roads in Minnesota. This is a live look at the DOT map there. Blue means partially covered, but pink means completely covered, so there's still a lot of pink on this road map. You can take another look at these by heading to our website, valleynewslive.com. That's also where you're going to find today's school delays and closings under the weather closing banner on the top of our homepage. Some breaking news this morning. A Fargo man in jail in Moorhead after a chase between the two cities overnight. Police say Wyatt Johnson was driving in the wrong lane when he hit several signs. He's being charged with DWI and several other charges. Also breaking, a West Fargo mom is relieved to have her two boys back home after they were missing for six hours last night. West Fargo police say they received the call just before 10 last night from a mom saying her seven and nine year old sons had not been seen since 6 p.m. The boys were found safe just after midnight. They were at a friend's apartment. A friend, the mom apparently, did not know. Okay, quickly our answer now to our question of the morning on Facebook. If you do this, you'll spend 23% less on shopping. Go shopping alone. Interesting. I could see that. Lots it's not of the case for me. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing stops me. But yeah. yeah, we do have a lot to talk about today. You're going to need some time to clean up and get to work. The snow still ongoing in the Northern Valley. We do have a break in the Southern Valley right now, but we could see some more snow later. So all day long, influenced by this, the wind picks up a little later today, too. We'll get another live update on news and weather for you right here in just 25 minutes. Have a safe Wednesday, everybody. We will see you tomorrow morning.